So this week at work, I find myself having a really interesting discussion with a very frustrated business owner who's been in the pumping industry for years. And in order to compete, because it's a highly commoditized industry, there are lots of competitors who play in the industry, what he had gone and done is he had gotten himself access to a broader and broader and broader range of pumps. It meant that he had to carry many varieties, the supplies, he had to build the technical capacity of his team to learn and understand how to install the pumps, how to service the pumps. And he had hoped that with the broader range, he would be able to canvas more of the market. It got us into a very interesting discussion. The challenge was, how do you build, scale, and grow a company to achieve distinction in an overcrowded marketplace? And where did the answer lie? It lay in the humble onion. I'm going to share a strategy with you which has worked consistently. I'm going to tell you how it was applied in this particular business and what the outcome has been. So how do we use the onion? Let's take a look at it. I'm going to slice through it very quickly, break nine. And what we see are a number of rings over here. In the center, in the core, it's where the sweetness and the flavor, the true essence of the onion lies. In a business that is everything that is core and strategic that you must own in order to qualify being in the game. The next layer is where the burn comes in, adds to the flavor at the core. But it represents everything that is non-core, but strategic to your performance and capability. So think about brand management, think about your IT infrastructure, think about all the elements that you are not specialist in, but need to have in play in order to perform effectively at the core. And then the final outer layer, that's where the skin lies. That's everything that is non-core, non-strategic. It's everything that really, in effect, you want to procure quality, yes, but you're going to be procuring largely based on price. And the ability to get it on time, every time, is going to matter. In simplifying your business by looking at what's core and strategic, forming strategic relationships and medium-term partnerships around everything that is non-core but strategic, and then focusing on a monthly basis only on procuring those elements that are non-core, non-strategic, you achieve the platform to begin scale. So where has this onion method left our business owner today? Well, when we look at the onion, he has shared all non-core, non-strategic activities out of the business. He has looked really carefully at what's core and strategic to the business. Today, he realizes he's not in the pumping business, he's in the water elimination business, and specifically in and around the mining industry. He has provided a service where he owns the entire chain of pump, pipe, and valve and charges clients on per liter of water eliminated per minute per second on a billing method that has provided the mines an opportunity to reduce their capital investment and pay only for services rendered upon being rendered and when rendered. Simplify to scale, simplify to grow, simplify to create distinction in an overcrowded marketplace. Until next week, have an entrepreneurial day.